What's going on, Bears fans? Come back at you another edition of Bear Down Forever. Thank y'all for joining me. I appreciate y'all. I always do. I always will. And um, I'm going to jump right into it. So the Bears have two players on the top 100 list this, this season so far. They have David Montgomery coming in at number 98. Um, Roquan Smith came in at number 84. And I'm hoping that we can see Mooney on there. Um, I don't know if anybody else will be on there. I mean... It, oh, Robert Quinn. Robert Quinn should definitely be on there somewhere. I mean, he had 18 and a half sacks last year, so hopefully we'll, we'll see that. Maybe we'll get some surprises on there. But um, I want to jump into this Roquan Smith situation so uh, we could get onto some other stuff. But um, yeah, so there's been some um, some stuff going on with um, with Roquan Smith and and uh, Tom Pelissero tweeted out that um, the league sent out a memo to the teams stating that any teams discussing trades with a player or their agent, you know, who have not been granted permission to seek a trade will be um, deemed as tampering. So, again, you know, and, and Roquan has not been given permission. So, I don't know what's going to happen, but it could be something with this. Um, it's an ongoing situation, so we're going to have to see what's going to happen because this is getting weird. And it's also came out that uh, the name um, St. Omni. So it's some stuff coming out saying that St. Omni is the person who contacted a team or teams on behalf of Roquan. Um, I shouldn't say behalf. Um, to see if they will be interested in trading for Roquan. I should say it better like that. But um, St. Omni, he is um, the person who negotiated Laramie Tumstill's extension with um, Houston. So, but he, but he is not, he is not a agent and he's not recognized by the NFL. So they wouldn't be able to discuss anything with him at all. And crazy thing about it is, Roquan is not an agent either, so I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I'm sure he can negotiate his own contract, but he would ha definitely have to have permission from the team, and the team, the, the the Bears would have to let any other team know that he has permission. He can't just say, "Oh yeah, they gave me permission," but you know, but that's it's all in the memo and everything that they that they sent out saying about that. So. We're going to see. There's still a messy situation going on with this whole thing, and we're going to see what's going to happen. I really hope that they can get this thing rectified soon because I do like what I saw on Saturday, and I think that having Roquan could just enhance that. I mean, the defense, I thought the defense looked good. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes went down the field and scored. It's Patrick Mahomes. I mean, people getting upset about that. I'm like, you, it's, it's not like it wasn't like it was Curtis Painter. I mean, it's Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes is is an animal, but you know it is what it is. So um, the Bears do have to make some more roster cuts. So um, we gonna see there. We gonna. I mean, I I don't know what they're gonna do. It's 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 funny because. Well, it's not funny because these um, players are, are there fighting, you know, to make this team. And but you just wonder who's going to get cut. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's they, they, they. So, oh, there's a lot of stuff going on with Tevin Jenkins. Tevin Jenkins. Tevin Jenkins. <laughs> um, uh, a couple of weeks ago about him being traded and all this stuff. Now they're working him out at guard, which is very interesting because Michael Schofield did give up um, a sack early in the game. But speaking about that play, after re-watching it, that wasn't totally his fault. I know what you're going to say. Oh, well, he came over. Yeah, he got he got blew back, but he had got control and he turned, and he turned Jones out. But when Fields, Fields didn't step up in the pocket, he stepped back. He literally ran right to where Schofield was pushing him. But if he would have stepped up in the pocket, 
he you know he had room up in the pocket. It was it was a nice it was a nice pocket built around him. So he stepped up in the pocket. He could have moved the ball. So that's something I'm sure that Get Getsy is working on him with and everything. And I know they're gonna get that taken care of. And I'm sure he's gonna point that out to him. And man, Braxton Jones looked really good, man. I mean, he got beat once, but he he his footwork is so good that he really opened everything up and, and got back on the play. I mean, he did get pushed in the fields one play and everything, but I mean, it's going to happen. I mean, the guys on defense get paid too. They're in the NFL. You got guys trying to make the team. You got hungry people. I mean, this, 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 this is the nature of the game. So, um, so yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing um, things heat up with Tevin Jenkins practicing at guard. So, um, it's it's going to be interesting. So, if Tevin Jenkins plays guard, we could see Michael Schofield. If, if, if Tevin Jenkins beats beats out Michael Schofield, I should say, Michael Schofield could probably be like a swing guard. So, he could play either right guard or left guard. And I don't know. I, I can't remember if he plays center or not, but we'll see. So, right now, Mustafa still running with the ones at center. Oh, yeah, Jenkins was with the twos and the threes at guard because Schofield is still there as of right now. And I think that I think that it's it's, it's going to be something. So, be some competition and y'all know me. I, I like I like the competition. Competition is is one of the best things. And um so Kyler Gordon well, I met with the media today and he said he cannot wait to get on the field. He he had a ball at the game on Saturday, and he just wished that he was out there. He was so happy for Brisker, as Brisker shined, and uh, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to see what he's gonna do. They're gonna be in Seattle. You know, he played at Washington, so it's gonna be a homecoming of sorts for him to come out there and play in his first preseason game, his first action in in a Bears uniform. So that's definitely going to be interesting to see. Velas Jones Jr. is going to participate. Um, yeah, so we're going to see the top three draft picks participate for the Bears, which is which is definitely going to be good because I definitely look forward to seeing um, to seeing <laughs> Quanty B again, man. Jaquan Brisky, he he just he was just lights out, man. And I think uh, I think Jack Sanborn has definitely solidified his spot on a 53-man roster because the guy looked like he was just in tune with everything. He looked good in coverage. You know, we know he didn't run a good a great 40. And but the guy, he was just he was just a tackling machine in college and at Wisconsin. He was he was the same way the game on Saturday. So I look forward to seeing a lot more of that. And I'm telling you, I I, I really think I, I I'm really I'm really happy with Sam Bourne and everything because I I was surprised when the Bears did not draft a linebacker, but they they tried to they tried to make sure that they they got that line taken care of. And I mean they 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 got some some good players. And I'm serious. I mean the way that the young guys played on Saturday was really amazing, man. They really, they really balled out. I mean, it was a lot. It was a lot of good plays by by young players. Tristan Ebner looked good. Trenton Gill looked good. I mean, Dominique Robinson looked good. Uh, Elijah Hicks didn't do that much, but he was around the football a lot. And of course, um, Sanborn. I, I know I keep talking about them because they Sanborn and Boston, Bostic, <laughs> Sanborn and Brisker. I mean, they they really play lights out. So, yeah. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen with this tampering situation. And the Bears got went back to practice today and. They just they just had the helmets on. They didn't go full pads because you know they definitely have a short week. And they'll be right back at it Thursday. Thursday night is kickoff. Bears Bears in Seattle playing against the the Russell Wilson less Seattle Seahawks, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. 
Hopefully they get Geno Geno Smith on the on the ground a lot, <laughs> or whoever the quarterback. Hopefully they get him on the ground a lot. So I'm I'm happy about that. And oh, there was a lot of stuff being said about the the Bears field as well. Uh, J C Treader the the he's a president of the what is he president? He's the president. <laughs> of the players union and he said that was talked about how bad soldier field was and you know the soldier field needs to he said that the the league needs to reevaluate what's acceptable as a surface of um a, a good surface to, to play on and I, I i agree with him yes he makes a valid point because if anybody remembers the way <laughs> the veteran stadium was back in the day I mean, it was horrible. I, you know, the Bears had a wide receiver tear both his um, ACLs in one play, just going up for a pass with one game. It was it was crazy. So, um, so yeah. So yeah. So um, I'm just here with y'all, just just talking about a few things, and I'm gonna have to end it on this note because. Um, <laughs> I'm spitballing here and I'm just, I'm just, I'm just excited about seeing the Bears again on Thursday. Um, growing, growing a little weary and a little, a little wonder, not growing, but just wondering what's going to happen with this whole Roquan Smith situation because it's just, it's just a weird situation. I mean, you got a guy calling teams who's not an agent but who has acted on behalf of a player before to help negotiate their contract so he's done agent duties so this is weird but Roquan doesn't have an agent so it's weird the Bears have not given permission to seek a trade but someone has been seeking a trade on his behalf so we shall see what's going to happen. So, um, yeah, the Bears got to cut four more players by 4 p.m. on Tuesday. That's 4 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so, 3 p.m. Central, of course. So, we shall see what's that, what, what that's going to look like. I'm wondering if there's going to cut players like... Um, Jen Delance, Sean Coleman. First and foremost, um, um, I'm just glad to be here with y'all again today. Thank y'all for checking me out. Um, bear down forever. Do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, and um, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know, you know how we do over here. So, um.